Good morning. Welcome to Hikate's Crossing with Paula. Today with the Fairy Lights Tarot. We're going to look at Medicine Wheel Spread. Okay. We're going to look at card number one being the spiritual aspect. Physical, emotional, mental, and you within yourself. Okay, the spiritual aspect is the hanged man. Hanged man is all about, <clears throat> excuse me, looking at things from a new perspective, looking at things that are a bit different, but it's reversed. So it's a sense of you're being blocked to be able to see what's going on. Something is stopping you spiritually, something quite deep within you is actually stopping you from looking at things from a new perspective, um, from allowing yourself to surrender to the possibilities of what's available to you. So something's blocking you in some way. Okay, we've got the chariot in the physical aspect. So this is about you physically having to decide after much contemplation in which direction are you actually going in. Do you have the strength and the determination and the will to achieve where you need to be. Um, that's totally um, physical for you at this time. So it's in your physical steps. Okay. Emotional. Emotionally, you are ready in some way um, to actually step out of this darkness that you've been feeling emotionally. So you're ready to step into the light, you're ready to have a bit of fun, have um, a bit of an adventure, have something that's a bit different and a bit more exciting in your life. Um, so you're ready emotionally, emotionally you're ready. Okay, mentally, okay, mentally you've, <clears throat> you've been reflecting, you've been meditating, you've been um, allowing yourself to learn and gather knowledge and wisdom, um, have some solitude time. You know that that's really important for you um, to be able to move forward. So I feel like for you, you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel mentally. You feel like everything's sort of starting to come together. Okay. In self, you've got the queen of wands. So you've got that creative energy. You've got the wisdom with the owl here. You've got this um, creative um, force within you, this passion. The, you know, I just feel like there's this nurturing going on that's allowing you to sort of really sort of nurture your journey on so many ways. Okay, and you've got the Six of Swords. Six of Swords um, is allowing yourself to feel like there's a shift in your thought patterns. Um, a shift in yourself personally. I think overall there's been a shift in many areas of your life and it's reflecting in your thoughts. It's reflecting in your ideas and your plans and what you've got ahead for you. So like you're walking into the unknown, which seems really important. So overall you're looking at that spiritually the hanged man, physically the chariot, emotionally the fool, the mentally the hermit, then you have within self the Queen of Wands and the Six of Swords. So what does that mean for you personally when you look at the cards? Um, you know, when you look at the Hanged Man. It's quite different, isn't it? Um, this is the right way. That's quite badly. There we go. Got this in a cocoon here, hanging from a branch. But green underneath. You're in a cocoon. Okay, then you've got the chariot here. The chariot. So there again, you've got the blue, you've got this chariot moving up. Got this brown. And yellowy, creamy colour here. 
Okay, you've got the full here. You see he's on a hillside holding his staff. Now he's holding his staff down, so that's quite different. He's in black and white, and he's looking up. Yep, there's some animals around him here. Yeah, some... Around here. Okay. Then you've got the hermit. So the hermit's a green, it's in brown. He's walking towards the light. There's stars in the sky. So he's walking ahead. You know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Okay. We've got the queen. See the queen? She's sitting on the water's edge. She's standing on the water's edge. She's got an owl on her shoulder. It's a castle in the background. Dark sky. Green shrub. Earth. And water. In the Six of Swords, you've got three birds, three creatures. In the air, over the water, that's got a little bit of a water spout coming up. In the forest, dark forest behind. So quite different. Very different imagery compared to a lot of the other decks. Okay, affirmation card today. Let's see what the affirmation card is today. For the weekend. Oh, here we go. This one here, Chasing Love and Peace. Okay, I am responsible for my own thoughts and actions. I am creating the world I live in by my choice of thoughts. No one else can do this for me. I can get back only what I give out. As my goal in life is peace of mind, I choose loving and peaceful thoughts today. Then I live in a loving and peaceful world. I choose love and peace now. Here we are. Oh, they're a bit hard to see these cards here. You can see the writings there, just so you know that I've read out what was on the card. Okay, let's see what angel cards are coming through today. Angel reading cards. Okay, this one here. As you're looking at, angel of the animal realm. Okay, angel of the animal realm. That could be about you connecting to your spirit guides, your you know your animal guides, your um, animal medicine, your totem. It can also be that you're working with animals at this time. Could be a sense of um, you actually going to spend some time with some animals. Maybe you need to go to the zoo or a park or you know go to the ocean maybe and stand at the sea. Um, it's just a sense of just, and just connecting with maybe if you're going to see, you're going to connect with the whales and the dolphins just mentally and spiritually. Um, maybe you're going to go to the park and maybe there's some birds or some anim you know, other animals there. Um, just you might go into equestrian, you might be doing some horse thing or something. Maybe you can connect with the horses there. It's just about being in tune with the animals that are around you. Um, also spirit not only um, physically but also spiritually as well so <coughs> you may have also had an animal that has passed recently <coughs> pardon me and this might be a message to sort of say to you that that pet that you've been thinking of recently that you've um, that was very close to you you were very close to that um, animal is actually around you spiritually so there's some thoughts for you for today in regards to the angel reading card as well. could also mean that you need to pick out an animal card for today. Go and, if you've got an animal deck or go find an animal deck online or, you know, one of those free reading things that you can get with Ask the Cards and um, there's some of those that will get you to do some. Maybe you need to do an animal, an animal reading of some sort. So, beautiful card absolutely gorgeous love the colors the artwork angel reading cards absolutely stunning okay that's it from Hikate's Crossing today thank you very much for joining me today um, hope you have a great weekend and take care and blessed be